occupy that space that's now been created, um, causing more trauma, more shearing, um, things like that. So make sure they're on the non-operative side. Um, and always make sure we're um, consulting with the, the surgeon as to what position we want them in. When we're turning a position of child, make sure you have um, two, two people to help. Um, and then post some signs if they need to have any type of restriction. We don't put them in for down load. Um, fluid regulation, um, craniotomy, nothing by mouth, but at least 24 hours um, until that gag reflex and swallowing reflex um, has been uh, reestablished or assessed. IV fluids until they're able to tolerate oral fluids. Um, maybe using a hypertonic solution such as mannitol um, to help remove that excess fluid. Um, this can cause rapid diuresis, um, so monitoring their um, urine output and electrolyte values. And possibly fluid overload, right? So, okay. Um, comfort measures, keeping things kind of quiet, don't overstimulate them. Pain management is going to be really important. We don't want them to be straining um, for bowel movements, so make sure that if they don't have a stool softener order, that we consult with the surgeon uh, that we have one. Ice packs, um, irrigating the eyes if they can't close their eyes, and keep them from drying out. And family support. You guys had about enough for one day? Sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright, we'll pick up here tomorrow morning, 8.30 sharp, with your old last moment.